Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Baldur's Gate 3 and uh, yeah, we're going to be exploring some new areas today. Finally getting out of that settlement once again. Um, but first things first, we're kind of in um, the beginning beach area because I need to explore whatever this is here. I don't remember placing this, I must have placed it accidentally, but either way it led me to find this little thing that we haven't gone on to yet, so... Let's see, can we climb down? No, we're gonna have to- we're gonna have to jump it. Okay. Okay, we're not taking any damage... yet. Okay. Is that all the way down there? Yeah, that's a mangled fissure down there. Never wanted the easy path. Would you look at that? Okay. We'll take it. All right. Now, just looking at things. Are there areas? So it doesn't even look like we can get into this area over here, as far as I can tell. Yep, we got that. That was where a treasure map was. Looks like we did all that. So yeah, looks like now our pathway is going left here and exploring some new areas. I think I might want to go and do this first for the Blade of Frontier stuff because I want to go and meet Carlock as well. Okay, so I think that's going to be our goal. You're an impressive fighter, Gail. You should consider a new name. I take it you have some suggestions? The Wizard Wonder. Or how about the Master of the Weave? Tempting. The Master of the Weave. Well, I think we might already have the maximum number of theatrical titles. Maybe I need more pockets. What's inside? Road to Baldur's Gate. Okay, that's is a where long we one. came out earlier. Who knows how long it'll take these folks to Remember, get always look at the map so you can see if stuff like this. It? They're slow, vulnerable. Half or more will die long before Basilisk Gate. Doesn't seem to trouble you a jot. What good would it do for me to be troubled? We can't save them all. <laughs> Okay. place is this a path to redemption or a road to damnation hard to say for your journey is just beginning who is this guy what would suit the occasion hmm the words to a lullaby perhaps the mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. Was that? <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormir, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. Am I talking to the mouse or the cat? Neither. The fox 
rather. Hiding, in a word. A silent observer about to break the silence. Of course, what I have to say merits some privacy, as well as some more, let's call it, refinement. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. Bro. There, middle of somewhere. And the organ comes in. Can you be more specific than somewhere? The house of hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. Are these theatrics leading somewhere? <laughs> Are you not entertained? Well, far be it from me to disappoint. Damn, dude. Okay. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. Okay. So that's fun. We've got a devil that has the name that is often associated with an angel. Raphael. Okay. I don't care what you are. I care about what you want. Oh, a mere trifle. How dear is one's soul, really? <laughs> a rhetorical question, of course, but let me venture an answer. It's worth very little with a tadpole in your head one skull two tenants and no solution in sight i could fix it all like that you're mad if you think i'll make a deal with the devil and what is madness but a denial of reality. Still, I have a feeling you'll change your mind before it's changed for you. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. Yeah, you can already feel that, like, there are factions forming. And he's taking advantage. He's taking advantage of people wanting to get these absolute tadpoles out of people's heads. So he's probably offering it to lots of different people. Hmm. I'll rip out your mocking tongue. Wow. I'll have the last laugh in the end. <laughs> I've always wondered what a laughing mind flayer sounds like. <laughs> All those pretty little symptoms Sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. Well, damn, okay. None of you guys have anything to say about that? That was wild.
temporary hit points and become blessed. Very cool. Glorious vaulting jump distance. I've got a long road ahead. Okay, silver pendant that gives guidance. Um, these two characters already have guidance, so. Necklace matches the sigil in that cave. The harpers were busy. The sigil in that cave. Which cave? Defender of the people. Let's get going. Something over there. At the back of the crevice lies a bag enfolded in the chitinous squabbling of spiders. A shiny gold coin pokes from its mouth. Okay, Druid, attune yourself to the spider's natural rhythm. The creatures clutch the pouch possessively. You have no doubt. A spider egg is nestled within. Okay. Let's do the druid animal handling. Speak softly to the spiders in hopes of calming them. Okay, the bonuses were... Definitely necessary one for that by one. one. The spiders retreat to the rear of the crevice, lulled by your murmurs. Boldly reach for the bag. You stash the bag. Something clinks among the coins. A spider egg sack. It seems like it would be a bad idea to hold on to this. So I'm going to do it. Because <laughs> I'm full of bad ideas. Curiosity killed the cat, right? With haste. You know, when they crawl into my ears when I'm sleeping or something. I'm going to regret it. We're all going to regret it. I'm going to make all of you suffer for my mistakes. So I wonder if that event with the devil would have happened no matter what direction we went. You have to assume so. It seems like it's story relevant, so... But maybe not. Who knows? No, where are you going? Where are you going? Must have accidentally clicked on the ladder again. Gentle. That's not how I was taught. Cruel words mm. strengthen neither yeah. heads nor hearts, Shadowheart. I wouldn't quite say that. I learned a lesson, after all. And came to resent your tutor, I bet. I taught them to fight, not to hate. People up ahead. Something's wrong. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response. Okay... Elithid. His wound his wounds look deep, I might be able to help. Okay, we rolled high. That was good. He's hurt badly. 
and Eulbear got him deep. If there's anything you can do... I'm watching you. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Hold his stare. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andric and Brenna, new recruits, yours to shepherd. Protect them. She is a true soul. Mind her. She will. She. She. Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. You're... You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother, he was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. So some of the Absolutes are chosen, aka get the worm it sounds like, and others are not. Explain the absolute one to me. What? Are you... Are you testing us? The you absolute bet. is our goddess. She's going to rip down the old world order, start a new one. Then we'll be the ones with the power. Well, you will firstly, true soul. You don't need me to explain that. A true soul, like you, has been chosen by the absolute. You speak with her voice. And when the time comes, the true souls, you will rule. That fellow had a tadpole in his head, and they consider him blessed? Chosen? What madness is this? <laughs> yeah, do we play along? All right, let's, let's see if we can get some information out of them. Perhaps you can help me. I'm looking for the druid Halson. I don't know any druids. Damn. Why are you out here? The wilderness is dangerous. We know that all too well, ma'am, but the Absolute sent us here. We're looking for fugitives, survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. The fugitives tell me more. We don't know what they look like, but anyone who survived that crash is bound to be injured. That's enough to get us started. The Absolute wants them found. At any cost. Because they're uh, to be recruited, I'm assuming. I'm a survivor of that crash. It looks like you found me. You! Brenna! Kill her! Oh, so they don't want to recruit. They want to kill us. Once again, factions. Hmm. So we probably weren't supposed to get the worm. Okay, these guys don't look like they have too much HP. All right. Okay, so that does 1d10 force. You've got color spray. No time to waste. Honestly, yeah, let's let's start with that. We get it once per battle. Oh, why didn't it hit that guy too? Oh, I guess uh, the additive. Oh yeah, it would have been higher than 33 HP. Gotcha. Now let's see. We get this once per short rest. We don't need this. Yeah, we don't need this right now. Concentrate. Blood comes easy these days. I gotta remember, that costs a uh, second level spell. Probably didn't need to do that.
Damn, would have gotten the kill too. Damn, on such high percentages too. Oh my god. <laughs> These rolls. Ridiculous. Command halt. Can't even catch my breath. You know what? Let's see if this will finish her. Cool. Oh yeah, we have a new um, we have a new uh, quarter staff that we need to equip. I completely forgot to do that in the last episode. Okay, his halt is done now. in our 50-50s, that's for damn sure. This guy's so hard to hit! Oh, I should've shillelied. We would've had a better bonus. Okay, guy. Are you serious right now? This is getting a little ridiculous. How many 50-50s can you miss? All right, so... High defense. I'm guessing that's just telling us that he has a high AC. I mean, yeah, it's a 16, but my goodness. Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. Your limbs move of their own accord. There's something of value here. Something your mind craves. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. Muscles loosen. The tadpole breaks free of its deceased host. Your mind is your own again. For now. 
Whoops, I was muted there for a second. Sorry about that. But we managed to resist that. Very nice. Oh yeah, okay, so, inventory. Two things. First off, um, this spear right here is versatile, which means that it can be one-handed or two-handed, right? So I actually think that this spear can be used by um, uh, um, Shadowheart, and I may want her to use this. We'll take a look. So I'm going to send that over to her. And where is... Right there. Nature Snare. Chance to ensnare a target if it is not a plant or a beast. Boom. Yeah. No extra damage, but that extra ability is pretty cool. So two to nine. It's capable of a little bit more damage as well. So let's see. Yeah. Yeah. So what that does is um, when the spear misses its target, the wielder's next attack roll against the target gains true strike. So if she misses once, she'll um, be more likely to hit on the next time. Which I think is... Pretty damn cool. Now, the thing that I don't know... Does versatile also mean that it can scale off of whatever, like, strength or dex? Does that matter? Can be used with one hand or both. It deals more damage when wielded with both hands. Makes sense. When thrown, these weapons deal the same damage they would for a melee attack. And I'm guessing you have to go and pick them up afterwards. Alright, you know, if you have proficiency with the weapon, I think that it just uses whatever your proficiency bonus. I don't think it scales off of... Yeah, she's got the same for strength and dex anyway, so... Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Okay, we looted all three, right? Uh, we didn't actually technically loot you. Uh, wait. Let's get that, 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 and that. And send a camp. Speak with dead. Let's see if maybe we can get anything else out of this guy. The corpse regards you lifelessly. What were you doing here? Nothing. For her weapon. The absolute. Hmm. What do you know about this weapon? Crashed. From the sky. Taken. By infidels. Is this weapon people or th a thing? What can you tell me about the absolute? Do not fight her. Power. Such power. Hmm. 
Is there anything valuable around here? Damn, that's kind of sad. The things that he finds valuable were his quote unquote siblings. I mean, at least there's a camaraderie with the people of the Absolute, at least in some places, it looks like. Who are Brenna and Andrick? Sister! Brother! My job to protect them! Whoops. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Yeah, they're super dead. I mean, one of them put up a fight. Dude was unhittable. <laughs> Wish I had a bag of holding. Can we get a bag of holding? That'd be cool. Time to press ahead. Um, I think everybody who needs a shield has one right now. It still has a plus two, but... Yeah, all three of you guys have shields already, right? Pride of the gate. Yep. Looking ahead. At the ready. Okay. I want to make my way up there. You seemed quite forward with your compliments earlier. We'd only just met. Seize the day, I say. More now than ever. Careful you don't pull a muscle in your haste. Frontier's toughest kill. Ah, it was a great scrap. A hungry minotaur with a hankering for human flesh. An axe bearing knout in a fur, she was. Gave me a nasty scar. I hope you don't mind if I don't ask to see it. Hmm. Dead goblins. Dead travelers. This is that We're guy. Heading to the Druid's Grove. This is that guy. This is part of one of the quests. Um, let's see. Hide those. Find the Night Song. This one. Has a map leading to the Night Song. Brian. Is this Brian? Ooh, no map. I wonder if goblins took it. Um, let's speak with dead again. The corpse has nothing to say. Boo. Oh, there's more than one. Okay, some of them are goblins, some of them are more adventures, gotcha. None of them have a map. Goblin's drawing. Drawn in thick charcoal lines upon an animal skin, this childlike portrait depicts three stick figures, a goblin with sparks in its hands, a square humanoid figure, and what seems to be an elf. Each of them is wearing a simple crown. Nope. Yeah, 
that's not what I wanted. The corpse remains silent. The corpse remains silent. The corpse remains. The corpse does not respond. Well, it was all worth checking. Okay, cave. All for me. Strange. It looks healthy, but it's stone dead. A dead boar. But it doesn't look like it's been touched by scavengers. Examine it. The carcass seems to be fresh, only a few hours dead. You notice two small puncture wounds in its neck. Looking closer, you can see the skin around its face is desiccated. It's been completely drained of blood. Almost like a vampire of some kind, but we don't know any vampires, do we? A hunter stash. Oh, it's empty. Nice find. Is that a coffin? That's a coffin. Lovely. Owl bear tracks. Its nest must be nearby. Okay, so this is the one that. So this must be where they got attacked, the uh, people, the absolute guys. Because they were attacked by an owl bear. Let's have a look. That stench. Dead owl bear prey, no doubt. No, oh, it can be used as a weapon. Like a shrine to Saluna over there. Come on, My team. Faith will guide me. Feel that? There Imagine. we go. A spell sealed that chest tight. Is that blood? No. <laughs> uh, this thing won't yield its contents Damn. easily. I mean, you said it was sealed, not trapped. All right. 
an ancient tome detailing how Saloon came into being along with her sister, Shar. The silver, radiant Saloon and the dark, alluring Shar complemented each other and brought an orderly distinction between light and dark in the universe. A dusty volume that speaks. Ooh, nice. A dusty volume that speaks of the conflict between the siblings Goddess and Saloon. And Shar after Saloon ignited the sun and brought life sustaining light and warmth to the universe. Okay. A prayer dedicated to Saloon, imploring all to accept the Moon Maiden's blessings and share in her bounty. Just an old prayer. What's next? Saloonite prayer. How useful. This prayer bears the same symbol as the chest. I think it might just be the key. Okay. Another step forward. My prayers are answered. Shadowheart is inspired. You should leave it, or even destroy it if possible. But why? This rubbish is an offering to Saluna. At best, it's worthless. At worst, who knows, could be cursed. Do not trifle with that moon witch or her trinkets. Only trouble will follow. I think I'm gonna do persuasion. We can't just abandon resources that we might need. Be sensible. Oh, wow. Wouldn't want a charm person. That's a little aggressive. Fine. Perhaps you can sell them for a couple of coins. See, now you get it. Ooh. Mysterious Sharon Wound. When we came into contact with something from Saloon. Now she, we know, is a follower of Shar, who's the opposite of Saloon. So that's probably why she's um not so happy about things. Yep, pick up an ad to wares. Idol of Saloon, a statue of Saloon, Our Lady of Silver, the Moon Maiden gazing quietly at the world. I'm not going to sell that. That might be important. Uh, Moondrop Pendant. When the wearer has 50% hit points or less, they don't provoke opportunity attacks. Okay, cool. This tome describes the ancient initiation rites observed by some who worship the moon goddess Saloon. When a youngster came of age, they would be left to fend for themselves deep in the wilds. There, they would show their skills of navigation and self-reliance, as well as their determination to return to the Moon Maiden's silvery glow. Once they found their way back to their people, their faith and standing as a follower of Saloon would be beyond any doubt. Um, hold on, where's that other? Right there. No one stopped me yet.
You feel the quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it. An owl bear, its beaked face looming out of the darkness. Oh man, I wanted to uh, put speak with animal on. Um, okay. Study the owl bear's behavior. The owl bear's one good eye flicks away for a moment. You follow its glance and see an owl bear cub. Oh, it's cute. Hold out your palms, you mean no harm. The owlbear stares, then sharply inhales your scent. It sits back, its eyes still fixed on you. A silent ultimatum. You can leave now, or step closer, and die. You soft mates, you, you don't, don't listen. listen. Whoops. Okay, moonbeam. Do we want a moonbeam? Be a pretty good start. Two D ten. All right, we're we're gonna try not to attack the cub. One hundred and eighteen. It's also distressed. Okay, are we close enough that it's going to get an attack of opportunity? No. I'm going to have you move back. Can't afford to let up. Okay, you try and tank for us. out of 20. Wow. And he is prone. Um, does help action, is that a full action? It is. Ugh. Okay. Okay, so that's a 65. Shatter. Does Shatter come with anything else? Disadvantage on their saving throws. Now let's see. Hexing him. Let's what what do we want to hex? Probably Connor Strength. I should have started with that. I guess it doesn't make too much of a difference.
All right, she chewed through all of her spells. We just <laughs> did a long rest, but that's that's the way it be sometime. A rough tempest I will raise. Okay, 46. God damn, poor Will. Very nice. Little guy crit. Okay, that gives us our true strike for the next go, but damn. Can't always be a gentleman. Damn it. Good looks from you to his dead mother. strike will end his suffering. Let the creature live. It hurts. You watch speechless as the cub begins to eat his mother. Gross. At least the cub has a fighting chance now. That, or we've just prolonged its misery. Still alive. Well, we've we've been better. Awake and alert. Respite. Maybe a little bit of a waste, what but that was a big fight. So, your desire. Okay, recharge one of your second level spell slots. Let's get on with it. 
You unfortunately are just out of everything. All right, what now? Oblivious to your presence, the cub continues to gorge himself on his dead mother. He's a little less cute now. What's hiding here? <laughs> just a little. Is that an eyeball? That looks like an eyeball on the tip of that. Lovely. Let's sell it to somebody. You should mind my step. Don't mind if I do. An owl barrack. These are supposed to be worth a fortune. 750 gold. You aren't kidding. The Oak Father's Embrace. Undead creatures that hit the wear receive 1 to 6 radiant damage. Beasts that hit the wear deal an additional 1 to 6 radiant damage. Well, he shouldn't have been wearing this in here, huh? Um, will encumber. All right, we're gonna have to move some things around. That's fine. Okay. That weighs six. Should probably just get rid of that. Whatever it takes. Okay. No one back home will ever believe this. There we go. These boots have seen everything. No traps, please. What's up here? <laughs> this might just be a place where you can get some decent, like, advantage on, uh, with some, some, you know, high ground. Anything else we can find? Not really. I think that's what it is. Of course, with that owl, owl bear's jump, it can probably just jump up here, but still. You can get some advantage shots off by having the high ground, so. In today's episode, we dealt with an owl bear and uh, watched a cub eat his mom. Um, honestly, it was our fault, so can't even blame the poor little guy, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Andrew Smith, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Chris Smith, Vlado101, Andy Ford, The Blue Electric Cat, Angel Mejia, Black Mamba90, and Kyle Schluter. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.